Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and today a very special edition, The Amazing World of Business and Finance. Yes, I said business and finance. For example, we'll reveal the origins of popular trade names, tell you about the paranormal connection of the famous Bradbury Building, report on the stingiest woman who ever lived, the Witch of Wall Street, and critique the 1949 mystery, Too Late for Tears, starring Elizabeth Scott and Dan Duryea, and cover other intriguing subjects, time of course permitting. But first, the origins of trade names. Now, back in 1964, two brothers, Lincoln and Leroy Raffle in Akron, Ohio, wanted to start a roast beef shop, and they wanted to call it Big Tex. But Big Tex was already taken. So instead they called it Raffle Brothers. And then they contracted that to RBs, their initials, and that became the name most of us know for famous roast beef sandwiches around the U.S., Arby's, spelled A-R-B-Y apostrophe S. How about that? Now, here is the stick from a popsicle. Back in 1905, 11-year-old Frank Epperson in Neptune Beach, Florida, put some pop in a in a little cup with a stir stick in it and left it out. It was a very cold winter day. When he came back, he found that the pop in the cup had frozen around the stick, and he tried to eat it, and he found it delicious. Now, he didn't do anything with that for 18 years. Finally, in 1923, he filed a patent for this product, which he called the Epsicle, after his name, Epperson, and the word Icicle. However, by that time, he was married and had children of his own, and the kids called it Pops cycle. So that contracted to Popsicle, the name we all know, and that also helped accelerate sales. Now, during the Depression in the 1930s, the double stick Popsicle was invented so people could split them down the middle, share them, and save a few paint. How about that? And speaking of delights, I certainly enjoy Twinkies, those cream-filled delights from Hostess. An executive saw an ad for shoes, Twinkle Toe Shoes, and that inspired the name Twinkies for this delight. Twinkies from the shoes, how about that? And we have, of course, the well-known Frisbee. Back in 1871 in New Haven, Connecticut, William Russell Frisbee opened a bakery where he served delicious pies in tins. Now, Yale students, after eating the pies, would take those pie tins and toss them at each other, yelling, Frisbee! Nothing was done in terms of a toy until 1950 when Whammo came out with a toy based on it, but they called it not the Frisbee, but the Pluto Platter. Sales were moderate but not spectacular. Then, in 1959, an executive read about the history of the Frisbee pie and decided to change the name from Pluto Platter to Frisbee, and of course, sales skyrocketed. The sad part? William Russell Frisbee died in 1903. If he could have just held out another 56 years, he would have seen his name become part of the American lexicon, seen himself immortalized. Just another 56 years. Darn, Frisbee! Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes.